Breathe a disclaimer through tuning up. Ladies and gentlemen, Beyblade X. I am kind of right now on like the hype of this thing. So if I'm not too, too critical, it's literally just because of that. I want to give, first of all, subscribe if you are new here and comment your thoughts. Let's try to shoot past 200 comments. I want to give credit to Keo for helping out with uh, any of the translation work for this video. So shout outs to them. So I want to go over with this stuff and keep in mind I have to edit the scans for like copyright reasons so it might be a little heavily modified but I'll do my best. So the first thing I want to mention is the X in Beyblade X from what I was told from Kyo, the X is supposed to be like extreme. Uh, the next part is actually the bay itself so we do got a pretty clear look at the bay and uh, the name if I want to be accurate uh, was it phon phonetically I'm pretty sure it's like drawn sword. So this is like the blue one that we see right here. So there is two shots, so you'll probably see me show multiple shots of the thing. But the biggest thing to know about uh, this one is kind of the, just the design. First of all, I love the metal. The metal does say Beyblade X on there. Reminds me very reminiscent of the bit chip design. Now, as I'm sure we can tell with the giant silver parts there. I'm not 100% if it is, but I think it would make sense. It seems like they, this could probably be metal, unless it's just a trick and they just have plastic that just looks like it's metal, kind of like what they did with the Key Elites' evolutions, but... Now there is the red one, which is called Hellscythe. Now, at least that's what I've been told. Uh, now its actual design is a little interesting. I believe this is supposed to be the balance one, which obviously, again, you know, the tight things, how they try to make it the same color of the thing. If I'm under the assumption the blue one is attack and under the assumption the red one's supposed to be balance, whatever these two are, I'm assuming would be stamina and defense either way. Uh, either way, they got pretty interesting shapes. I tried to do a lot of brightness and contrast and trying to enhance on the original one because obviously they, they, they do a little tease. It's like a night creature and, and like some demon thing, maybe kind of like some mushroom. I don't, I, I, I don't know what it is. I know that at least one of them has to be like the night one, but... Um, a big circle. Yeah, I really wonder what's going to be good at the start. There is a stadium teaser. It has four exits. We kind of already talked about this before reported on our channel. But uh, there's a pre-sale June 10th for Drawn Sword and Hellsight. It's going to be at uh, that event. And uh, the stadium is lottery. So the stadium, I think it's like if you get like the Koro Koro or whatever, you get like the ticket, then it's like the stadium or whatever. It's not really that important. More important is June 10th, which means it's an early way to get the stuff. So that's going to be fun. So first of all, I want to mention that the character here, the, the launcher does actually have three prongs. And this makes sense because if you look at the actual hooks of the thing. But uh, the character that what we call the, the illustrator is the one who did, uh, she did Promise Netherlands. So I'll probably put up a name right about here and probably just uh, an image of an illustration. And the writer is the one that did... Uh, I, I guess their only real notable work is Kakakuri. God. Uh, yeah, judge without what you will. Judge without what you will. Either way, uh, moving from there. Okay, in terms of the story, by the way, shout out to Kyo for the translation. And by the way, the ninjas in Japan, this is transformative. This is edited and it's a translation. Fair use. Uh, basically, the whole idea is like kind of like this pro league thing. Also, they use the term Beyblader instead of Blader, and that kind of annoys me quite a bit, but, um... Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna get... No, we're, we're gonna get... This was just like a tiny preview that they showed. The following month, we're gonna get a little bit more, so... Yeah. I'm still wondering on kind of just how it's gonna function and work. We're supposed to get most of our information the 17th of May, which is technically the 16th because of when the information drops in the time zone that type of stuff but overall I, I i'm very intrigued i'm very intrigued to say the least uh so this video is kind of like a rush but you know eventually we're going to get more of the updated information 100 percent either way i want to say i'm very excited mostly just because it's just to see something new and fresh Anyways, as we end off, we have mallofbase.com. It is an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless. If you check out our store, the Zanki store, we have pre-orders up for Beyblade X. Limited time, limited quantity. Listen, this is an optional way to support the channel to keep the channel going. So if you're able to support, greatly appreciate it. If you can't, that's perfectly fine. Subscribe if you are new here. Past 200 comments. And uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. 
I like even small intricate stuff in the design, like the little arrows, which I'm pretty sure they indicate the spin direction and stuff, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. I didn't try to milk this or anything, try to make it like as long as possible. If we want to do other breakdown stuff, we'll try to do it afterwards. Probably try to do stream this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, stay safe. I hope you all have a wonderful night. I'm launching this pretty late probably, so enjoy. Bye.